homey housing, it's it's all going down, and a lot of Philly is going to be out of town for it. So if you're planning to do your first melee tournament, like in the Philadelphia region, this weekend probably isn't the one to do it. Oh, there it is. Despite being a what was it like an eight character limit or whatever, still rocking the the vanilla four. So it is Towel A Town. Uh, Towel Fox. He's got a lot of characters. Always does, but. Look, looks like he's going with uh, one that he, that he thinks will take him the farthest in bracket today. I actually haven't talked to him today. I don't even know. I don't even know if he knows that I'm here. Shout out to A Town with the college T-shirt. Definitely own one of those myself. Good taste. Uh, see me in Philly Melee later with who wore it better. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll stake my claim to the college T-shirt. Game one to Dreamland. Uh. Quick, quick layover fix. It's a Fox Ditto. Looks like it's just a hand warmer. Either that or Tal is super hyper ultra rusty. Oh! Wow, okay. Alright. We'll just pretend that that was a neutral start because that was just like a really uneventful. Oh, jeez. Start to the match. A Town kind of falling for a. Uh... Oh, wait. No, this is Tal. Sorry, I saw the TOW of Tal and I thought it was A Town. Ooh, really slow Nair. Like, I know it's been a while, but y you gotta remember your fastballs on your aerials, Tal. Come on, man. Oh my god, reverse. Get up attack into the KO. <sighs> I love round one winners. Round one winners is where it's at. That's where you get combo video clips. Unless you're top 100, then you do it all the time. But other than that, you yeah, round one, round twos, you gotta enjoy those. You can't play your secondaries, because your secondaries don't do cool stuff. Your secondaries can win, but you don't get your combo video footage. And everyone in Smash has their little ego. Some people, it's more than a little ego, it's a big ego. That's how you feed it, man. Your round ones and twos doing cool stuff. Okay. No tech on the uh, on the up throw. So A-Town, like, I won't say he hasn't done his homework, but he clearly doesn't have a whole hell of a lot of Fox Ditto practice. Like, it was kind of a uh, quick tech to hit, but it's a really, really important one because, uh, you know, Fox Ditto's combos, I mean, against Fox in general, but especially the Fox Ditto, combos are all vertical, man. It's all about the height. And uh, you're getting popped up at 30 by an up air. Oh, you got hell to pay, man. There's a lot coming. There's a lot more come, uh, where that came from. Four stocks to two. Tal just kind of keeping his distance. Probably waiting for Aton to put out a grab. Puts one in, out himself and almost gets uh, demolished for it. Takes like 7%. Definitely got off easy. Ooh, anti-air with, uh, with the up smash. Just a weak back air. Reverse down smash. Aton can't catch a break. Oh, gets clipped by dash tag. That time, so that was really nice from Tal because uh, he covered the wake up option immediately. Like he says, if you wake up and you try to move like in place, I'm, I'm all over you. So A-Town should have rolled away there, but that really wasn't his fault for not knowing. Maximum rage on the up smash. I wonder if we're going to see a character switch from uh, A-Town after this. this. This is not a good look. Oh my, overshoot in air. Tal just knows uh, everywhere A-Town wants to be. Meanwhile, A-Town might not actually know himself. He's just playing off a very loose feel. Finally gets one. A strong hit for a change. Up smash. Up throw up smash. Tal, a little rusty. Definitely not going to go for that chain grab. Especially on Dreamland. I don't really blame him. Grab? Okay. Yeah, I couldn't have got there in time. I like the choice. Oh my. Oh my god. I've heard of jab grab. I don't know if I've ever seen that many jabs into a grab. Alright. See, A-Town like... Oh no! Why is Fox legal? They got a ban, ban Fox. That was the revert, the most reverse sweet spot of the up smash I've ever seen in my life. So sticking to the character, I want to see A Town dash dance with a purpose, man. He's uh, he's not defending himself with aerials. That's okay. You you can get whip punish for those. But th this dash dance, like he's not really doing a good job of baiting Tal into doing stuff. He's not quite getting close enough. To him. He's kind of moving without much purpose. And Tal recognizes that. Good tech chase with the up smash. Oh, really scrubby jump. Eliminated his uh, landing option severely by doing that. Could have just landed on the platform from where he was. Tries to side B in. Tal forgives him. That side B's in that time from super high. Gives Tal all the time in the world. I think he actually... That might have been a ledge dash on from uh, from Bill King himself. I'll have to go back and watch that. See if he was super clean. Uh, guess his tech in place. Or er, neutral get up and actually gets it. But a little too misspaced to pick up the conversion. Ooh, stuck in the corner. Oh, no, don't jump like that. Dash away. See, A-Town, he's just waking up and he's pressing a button. And it's, it's not a good look. Tal is all over him for it. You gotta cut your losses sometimes. You gotta recognize when you're at an advantage, neutral, or disadvantage. And that's definitely a disadvantage situation. 
And Towel hasn't really showed that he'll cover uh, Dash Away yet. Like, he's only covered Dash Away in like a neutral exchange with an overshoot in air, from what I recall, and definitely not on the wake up. Also, please jump out of that. You, uh, you miss the DI there, you're jumping every day. You, the jump's there. You, if you hit the DI, if you fold the DI away, yes, you're, you're eating the, uh, the McLeod, something McLeod flip. You're, you're eating the big kick. But not that one. Not, not on no DI. Tal, keep him to himself. Not really intruding on A-Town space. Oh, okay. All right. Hmm. That was a, that was an interesting scene. I would have gone for a grab on uh, on Tal, invaded his space a little bit, like as he was getting up from the ledge. But I probably would have got hit by that getup attack. So honestly, it was kind of nice by Tal, if you ask me. I, I would have gotten hit by that getup attack. All right. Gets one. A little quicker than the last time. Jump like full hops to the platform. Gets red. Oh my. All right, is he gonna get there? No, nope. no jump. Is he, oh, see, there's there's that get up attack again. Pretty much the same thing that it did from the ledge. That time he missed the up smash. That's a free back air. All right, that's a good side B actually. Up smash. Yup. A turn on his last stock. Already. Not not a good look. Definitely got a lot of stuff to go back and work on. Ooh, see, there's there's that dash end grab that I want to see. Granted, uh, Tal hasn't put out a lot of those nairs. See, there we go. He just <coughs> he stopped attacking so much. He's starting to hold his ground a little bit, but he's he's being close enough to Tal that uh, that Tal wants to put stuff out. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Tal with the pickup. No, go to ledge there. Tal, Tal gave you the ledge for free. I'm pretty sure Tal doesn't have perfect wave dash back fast fall uh, to ledge. I don't know. You might not know that though. Okay. Another stock? Up smash? Nope. Just kind of give him the ledge. I would up smash. Not definitely not the best thing to do, but probably would have killed him. Ooh, it would have been enough. Ooh, see there he goes to the ledge again. Towel just not covering, but it's enough, dude. When when you're like, not gonna lie, when you're that much better, like you know, you, you have room for those mistakes. Ooh, we're about to see the young god Ozzy do his like round one match. Over under on how long this take? I see Wumpus in the chat.